welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're doing something fun. We're going to make dirt pudding. Um, pretty much what it is, it's, well, first off, it's Troy's favorite dessert. But pretty much what it is, is it's Oreo cookies that have been crushed to resemble dirt. And then just a filling, a vanilla filling. So what you need is one and a half packages of Oreo cookies. Smash them up as much as you can. I put mine through a food processor. It makes it, um more green greening to look more like um more like dirt you'll need two packages of 3.5 ounce vanilla instant pudding uh, you'll need a double carton of whipped topping confectioner sugar in here i've already got one softened eight ounce cube of cream cheese and four ounces softened of butter and then you'll also need milk to go with your vanilla pudding. So first off what we're going to do is we're going to cream the uh, eight ounces of cream cheese, the four or the quarter of a cup, sorry, of butter and one cup of confectioner sugar. Let me go ahead and get that. Now when you're measuring out stuff like sugar or um, flour, it's best to kind of like move it about in the container. And then when you put some in, you scoop it back and then scoop it forward. And that evens it up. Need one more. Scoop it back, scoop it forward. All right, so now I'm going to put this on one to get things started. And while that's going, in a fresh bowl, three and a half cups of milk for our pudding. One, I have to count out loud, <laughs> two, and three. And then a half a cup. All right. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. Okay, right. and then you just put in your instant pudding. Let's get up. So this you're just gonna stir for a couple of minutes while this gets blended. So I'm gonna scrape the sides down because a lot of this is not getting mixed together. It's just staying in my whisk. I'm going to continue to whisk this up a little bit longer while we wait for that to mix better. You'll start to feel the um, pudding get a little bit harder to stir. And that's a good sign. That means that it's thickening. Because you're supposed to stir this continuously. I stopped there for a minute. Shh, don't go. Um, so that it goes through. I'm trying to scrape off <laughs> the inside of my spatula. There we go. All right, so that is done. What we're gonna do now, get everything off of here before I do that, but we're gonna transfer this into here and mix it up. All right, you see, this has gotten thicker, so it's a little bit harder for this to stir it with. So what we're gonna do is gently pour some in. Wipe it down. 
lock it, turn it on one. Let it stir up. Once that's equally combined, we're gonna put more in and just repeat the process until this is all in there. So this is evenly combined. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Lock it. Take you off. So this is what it looks like with both of them in there and combined. It's just a nice, smooth consistency. Okay, I'm just gonna do a real quick one run through. Okay, so next part is the Cool Whip. So, I'm going to use the whole thing, so I don't mind using this in it. If I wasn't going to use the whole thing, I wouldn't use this. But they say to gradually fold it in. Now, folding is a different type of stir. Okay, so this is how you fold. Cut and flip. Cut and flip cut and flip and that's different from a regular stir because it helps keep the air that's in the cool whip in there okay so just continue to add the cool whip so it's all in there and remember to fold it in not stir it in it's doubled in size which helps a lot so that's done I changed the angle of the camera because I want you guys to see how I do this I've got a one a, ooh, mess a third of a cup here measuring cup and I'm putting a cup down and then I'm going to just even it out need more so let's see here Sometimes your hands are your best tools. Okay, now for these cups, there's one. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I've got two spoons here. I've got a really big serving spoon that I use for like uh, Thanksgiving and such for like mashed potatoes, but it's going to make this a little less time consuming. So we just dollop it on, but be careful when you dollop it on because you don't want it to mess up your cookie crumbles because once you put it there it's there it will move stuff if you try to move it too much and manipulate it now it calls for layers when you make this I personally don't like the layers just simply because it's extra work <laughs> So what I do is the one layer. So you get a super thick layer of pudding on top of your cookies. Okay. And then 
you'll take your small cup and a smaller, I say smaller, but it's still a big spoon. And you fill it up to your desired amount. And with this spoon being the size it is, I can easily put it in there. It's going in the way. That's what that looks like. So now we take our crumbles. And this part with the cups here, let me get paper towel. This part with the crumbs here, I just gonna wipe this down on the outside. Cause I don't want the crumbs sticking to the outside. Okay, so this one is a little bit, see and it goes in really easy. Okay, so I'm gonna take a small handful Put it on the top and make a mess in the process. You know me, I gotta make a mess. I'm not happy if I'm not making a mess. And there's another one. And then the remainder just goes on here. Spread it out however you want. You can make mounds. You can make it all the same height. Closer to Halloween, I should have done this for Halloween, even though now I'm thinking about it. Um, put gummy worms in it and little candy headstones. <laughs> make a graveyard. Athena, what are you doing? I've got a friend in here with me. Spread your cookies out or your crumbs out to the very edge so you don't see any of the vanilla pudding. Sorry about the noise in the background. One of the puppies found the big dog food bowl and she's determined to make sure that there's none left for her. There you go. Dirt pudding. <laughs> so that's it. It's pretty simple and it's a family favorite. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna clean up, holler at Troy to come on up here and do a taste test for you guys. But I can guarantee you this is going to be one of the easiest and the tastiest puddings you make. I got the two kids in here. They're gonna go ahead and do the taste test for you guys and make a mess in the process. Why do you have to stick your tongue out? That is my lip. <laughs> <laughs> Trinity made a mess. It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm. They're obviously enjoying their treat. So um, I'm going to let them do it. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks again for joining us. And I will see you next time. Back to editing. Bye.